Well, you know, we went back to our friend Jeff Dye, and you know, they, they've been showing me this Cabernet forever. And you know, I don't like to show labels over and over again if I don't have to, but he just makes such great wines all the time. And this one just, this was just a really good value, so I brought it back. They all are. I mean, have we ever featured anything that wasn't a great value? You know, it's got that nose of that ripe, you know, not ripe, but fruit forward cabs, mm -hmm. California. But it's got the acid in the backbone of much more substantial wine. You know, this is this is really interesting because the first Cabernet that we featured is the Awning Estate from Chile. This is from California, and there are similarities here, which means that the Awning tastes more California versus the uh, um, uh, <laughs> this one, uh, the Oak Grove, tasting more Chilean. Jeez. You know, when I first tasted this, I was reluctant because I thought there was a little RS in it, a little residual sugar, but there's none. No, there's no residual. I mean, there's some, but you can't taste it. It's nah, 0.3%, but... But the, and nose, the nose, nose is just fabulous. That's opening up. <laughs> yeah, just... mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm at a 95 on that. I mean, that's, that's really, really true. So my, my trainer, who's a good friend, calls me. He goes, I want to learn about wine. I go, why don't you read my course online? <laughs> he goes, I don't read. I'm like, well, it's gonna be kind of hard to learn about wine without reading. This is, he goes, let's go to dinner. I said, all right. So I took him to Meet Piace Monday, mm -hmm. and I started. I'm looking at the wine.